What's up, guys? That really gross guy here. We are back, and today is the day. At some point during the day, the new war is supposed to be released, and I am I'm looking forward to it like crazy. However, leaks? Did someone leak some information about the new war early the night before? New war? We got to talk about that. New game mode after the quest is over? Could it be? Okay, so get this. New war, we see ourselves with uh, a, a new uh, kind of setup with playing as a Grenier, playing as a Corpus, and eventually playing as Teshin. Uh, Teshin may be the, um, the uh, what do you call it, exception to the rule, but get this. All right, so we're playing as Grenier, we're playing as Corpus, some regular units some some regular old uh you know fodder when it comes to the factions new game mode when the war the, the new war is over battle royale we have a warframe battle royale as a new game mode we have drop pods you'll drop in on a map which will be an expansion of the plains of eidolon it'll be huge i mean the new war you can see takes place on the, the plains of eidolon it's going to be ravaged there's going to be all sorts of craziness uh we're going to drop in it's going to be i think it's a, a 32 player map because it's not going to be crazy it's not going to be 100 32 players you drop in as a grenier soldier you find your weapons you pick things up you get some skills and stuff that you kind of sort of level through experience this and that or you drop in as a corpus soldier uh, with a little teleporty system drop into the map you go do your thing battle royale winner takes all all right i'm making this shit up it's not it's, <laughs> i'm just kidding it's not actually a thing but but i may i may be on to something about uh about a, I, di I didn't really mention this thus far but a New weapon? New weapons coming? New war? The end of the quest? Maybe during the quest? We'll see. A um, little bit of a, a picture I will show you guys here in just a moment, but what I figure I'd do today is i just kind of give you a general synopsis of what I'm looking forward to in terms of the new war, uh, some lore and content that uh, I'll be able to cover here in the near future based on some of the information we get from the new war. And of course, a lot of people have been doing this, so I figured I would, uh, you know, kind of jump on the bandwagon, um, kind of showing off what type of loadout I plan on using for the new war. Now, I think most of this quest will be playing as other characters and we may not be playing as our warframe or operator through the entire quest so take this with a grain of salt i may not use these all that much but first and foremost would be my excalibur um i had a prime variant of excalibur like a fake prime version of excalibur for a while that i ran my quest and now that we have umbra um, I started using him for a majority of my quests just because he's kind of, I mean, Excalibur was the poster child. Umbra is, I guess, the, you know, elite version of the poster child for Warframe. I think he's awesome. His lore is incredible. So I like to use him in a lot of my quests. But I might stray away from that a little bit depending on the type of quests or content uh, we'll be seeing for the new war i'm really digging this nova that i recently created um you guys you know may have seen uh my nova in one of my previous videos just running you know a survival or something like that but insane i love this nova with the uh with the tenogen skin um the mithra mithra tenogen skin and i got the tenora prime um, I got a, a special augment, or not augment, um, helminth ability that I swapped over for her so that she can um, get her health back much easier. Um, very fun. Um, I'll probably be utilizing that as well. But when it comes to the new war, information on, and questions I'm really hoping um, get, I, I don't want to say get solved because oh, there's going to be so many questions that are left unsolved and there's going to be a whole lot of new ones but there's a lot of information um that might help tie up loose ends like first and foremost um Hanhao and stalker what's going on there 
uh, of course, the, the whole Lotus situation. Ballas, what, what kind of situation is Ballas in? Is, is Ballas right where he wants to be when it comes to this quest? Is Ballas completely allied with the sentience? Um, is the Lotus evil? Uh, is the Lotus being manipulated? Um, do we will we have the chance to save or kill Lotus? Um, you know, I honestly, I, I I think Lotus is going to persist, um, and I don't think we're going to kill her. But anyways, that's just you know my my assumptions. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious because Ballas, I think Ballas is. I don't want to say right where he wants to be, but I think Ballas, after the death of Margulis, kind of did a 180 and sought out kind of the destruction of the Orican and allied himself with the Sentience and then re and actually knew that Lotus was a stand-in uh, for, you know, the Nata was a stand-in for Lotus, and I think he was completely aware of all of that, let the Tenno kind of do their thing, and then when that time came for the Sentience to take over and destroy the Orican, um, I kind of think that that Ballas maybe, you know, uh, threw all that away, threw all the Orican beliefs and stuff out the window, and maybe he even subjected himself to, um, like, losing, like, like being... Uh, converted sort of into sentient form somehow. I mean, there's always transference and stuff, so that's definitely interesting uh, to go forward. But I'm wondering if he let all this happen, and the only exception maybe is he was trying to ally with the sentience, or maybe even ally with Han Hao. Um, I think that maybe Era kind of betrayed a little bit of Ballas, and that's why Ballas is on a leash and is, and is being kind of abused. Um, or it's just a, a fake because I remember in the video, I don't know if you remember, saw this, but uh, I noticed this. In the video when Era like throws Lotus uh, to the side where she, you know, seems to get... I don't know, uh, instilled with some sort of energy like she's, I don't know. Uh, the idea is Era drops the leash, like almost as though it was just a ruse, you know, I don't know. Um, anyways, that's interesting. Um, I also believe that we never really f knew how Hun Hao or the stalker met Hun Hao. Unless there's a there's some sort of fact I'm missing, um, the stalker pretty much walked right up to wherever Hun Hao was, and Hun Hao talked to him, and then he took the sword and got imbued with, um, you know, the 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 armor and stuff like that. We never, as far as I know, found out how the stalker knew where Hun Hao was. I think Bailis may have sent stalker to meet with Hun Hao, and the reason why I say that is because. Stalker was an Orican bodyguard. I have my speculations about some Stalker lore and some, you know, uh, you know, t whether he's a Tenno or whether he's a Warframe, whether he's, you know, whatever. Um, I want to talk about that in the future. It kind of ties to Umbra. I know I already did a video on Umbra and Stalker, but um, I think we're going to get some more information at some point in the future. And I think... I think I'm, I'm still on the fence whether Umbra has or uh, Stalker has a Tenno or if he was one of the first Warframes that was never unstable and stayed close to the Orican as a bodyguard. But the reason why we'll talk, like I said, I'll talk about this more in the future. The reason why I think he has a Tenno is because he was there when the Tenno. Uh, fought back against the Orican during the uh, the absolution ceremony. Um, basically, the Orican came and said had a ceremony for the Tenno just to with their appreciation for just you know fighting back on the sentience. And then, right, the sentience or the infestation, one one way or another, um, the Tenno turned on him, and Stalker was there. 
So he was either there as a bodyguard or he was there as a tenno. Ooh. Okay. Um, anyways, I think uh, I think there's a lot of questions. Number one, Bayless. What's the deal with Bayless? Um, the Orkin in general. Um, is it just Bayless? Um, Nihilus is another Orican. He does exist, kind of, sort of. Um, and maybe there's more. Maybe there's more Orican out there. I don't know. Um, I don't think we're going to find that anytime soon. But the Sentience, of course, I want to learn a lot more about them. What's the deal with this Dark Ooze? You know, is that Kuva? I don't think that's Kuva. The Dark Oozy stuff that's in Sentient Ships and stuff like that. And I'm also curious what those rings are all about at Tenocon. It sounded like these were either gateways or they instilled some sort of alternate dimension or, or not or parallel universe or memories or something. I don't know. Something weird about those. I think we're going to learn about those in the future, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited about that, but I guess, uh, yeah, new war. Attack on Plains of Eidolon, we obviously saw that there was, like, a whole war being raged on the Plains of Eidolon, and uh, how much of that, you know, is going to be fought with our Warframes, how much of that is going to be fought with, you know, our little Grenier dude. Um, obviously, based on the fact that sentients are destroying Corpus ships in outer space and stuff like that, this war is across the entire origin or yeah or origin system anyways um so yeah it's a not cool not cool um and there's a there's a little photo of fortuna tied into the trailer um so maybe there's going to be some engagement on fortuna as well um i don't know i feel like that's a a lot that's very ambitious for that much content to be added that we would have a battles on planes of Eidolon and fortuna and out in space i don't know that seems like too much for a content update but i don't know i don't know but anyways no battle royale it's a joke but new warframe we have the new warframe coming the sentient base frame seems pretty cool um the weapon that seems to be coming with it pretty cool but a secret weapon for when we complete the new war how about this? We're going to play as Teshin. How about dual Nakanas? How about that? How about two dope-looking Nakanas? You can see a photo here. Ash rocking these Nakanas. How cool is that? I hate to say it, guys, but this is actually a visual glitch. This has been in the game for a while. Uh, I debated you. Again, no du no Battle Royale, no dual Nakanas. I hope I hope we get dual Nakanas in the future. I know that idea has been tossed around in the past because Teshin uses them. So maybe. I mean, if Teshin uses them in this quest, then obviously there's some sort of stance that can be utilized and animations that can be utilized, so maybe we will be getting dual Nakanas. I think that'd be pretty awesome, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy the quest, and uh, I'm going to do a kind of let's play for that, so expect that coming in the near future. Um, and, of course, more speculations, because holy crap. There's so much we can talk about. Um, there's so many things I've written down, so many questions I have, and I think... Some of them will be answered, and some of them will have at least a little bit more uh, information to go off of after the new war is over. So very excited about that. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Blah. Don't be afraid.